Hi guys, how are you? Hope you've been well. Mm. And uh, I am Buffy's girl. Hi yo. <laughs> it's me. I know. The beautiful yeah. Martha. So Ooh. guys, we are going to discuss a few things. Why what was able to be inji to take you? Eh, you guys. We put the sex so we put things to do with the <laughs> <laughs> we put things to do with uh, what is happening after bath as well. What this chat? Yeah. You guys asked us questions. Yeah. Kati summer bridals. What mm-hmm. was that? And you asked us. You know what she asked us? She was like, mm-hmm. I thought I thought you need six weeks before resuming sexual intercourse. I knew that question would come up because every mother that has given birth yeah. is having the same concern, yeah. especially if you have a partner you guys that is there. Which are told six weeks in, mm. the, in the hospital? No, actually, my, my doctor didn't mention anything about it, okay. um, which helped me because then my husband <laughs> couldn't pressure me. Eh, yeah. no pressure. was ah, more like, so when then, am I ready? So when then are you, you actually ready? set your own time limits? Yes, we set our own time limits. Did or rather, I said... Secret? Mm? That is a women's secret. Mm-mm. Mm. It is healthy. <laughs> it is healthy. I'm encouraging other women <laughs> doing it. Other moms were out there. What are you gonna? Hey, it's the mm. secret you can share mm. sometimes. Mm. So the answer to this to this bit is that yes, you can take up to six weeks sometimes. However, like we shared in our previous podcast, mm. is you need at least two to three weeks. That's the time you need like to heal. Two to three weeks. Yes. But do you count those weeks properly? Hey, <laughs> okay, two to three weeks. Okay, mm-hmm. two to three weeks. Yes, ideally you should have healed by then. To where you were Now, yeah, where the catch is into Omchala. If you have had a tear that mm. is bigger than what it should be, mm. and um, we shall share some images along, mm. like in the TikTok videos that we shall be sharing. There are some tears that is why you need to know how far the tear went. Mm-hmm. Like how far is the tear? Was it like a third or a fourth degree? What about you? Can you? If it is that bad, then uh, that's when you that's when you say at least six weeks. Even at that point, yeah, six, six weeks. weeks. Yeah. six months. You don't even say six weeks. Six months, huh? Yeah. <laughs> so we say six months because we know in Uganda, okay, even out there, sex mm. is very enjoyable. So people always come back early. Umugamba six weeks, say yakuga, doctor, 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 Mm. When you say six months, at least you fall coin two months. Mm. So, yes, that is exactly okay. so. That is that time when we say, Okay, fine, take that long. And you always have to ask your health worker, What tear did I get? Because mm. if you don't know the tear that you got, then also the next what health worker won't know. Then, like, how long should I take to like, is it safe? Is it okay? But just so we are, we are on the same page, mm. this is a vaginal but eh? Yes. You may want to find out from the doctor what tear did you get from the C-section. Mm. My friend, all of it was cut. You didn't tear. They all cut it. it. All of it was cut, cut, yeah. stretchy. Yeah. So, and wow. uh, yeah, I hope we've uh, addressed that question. It was the mm. biggest question in there. I think there. some were asking six weeks, some yeah. asked 12 weeks. Some asked, uh, yeah. I think another one asked one month. It was a mom here. Yeah, Nalumansi Harriet did yeah. ask her one month. And no, it's not one month. The trick for ladies is this. Mm-hmm. If you feel uncomfortable after two to three weeks, Jangu mm. mm. hey, like so we have Mgamba. Uh-huh. So now we always ask you, like, where are you going to Mgamba? Where are you you've had? Hey. Now, to the doctor. Say, <laughs> chatia, mm. or there is, you're still afraid to like, have sex, and you come after for an evaluation. That mm. means there's actually a, a problem with you. But we, could it be that um, maybe you also need counseling? Exactly. Because sometimes I think it's psychological. Like for mm. me now, I would say, um, I think in about two to three weeks, yeah. um, I wasn't still feeling that much pain at yeah. my incision site. Mm-hmm. Um, I was okay, but I was just terrified. Exactly. Like in my mind, I thought, okay, what if it bursts open? <laughs> like you guys, I had so many weird fears, and I know what? some mothers out there have the same. But I think you just need to also what, what consult what eh? the, the incision site. Mm-mm, uh, mm-mm, doctor, co- come out, come out. The incision site. Can yeah. you get yeah. to Yeah, one to this topic. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> so, topic is going to be about hypertension in pregnancy. Pressure, Mulubuto. Pressure. Pressure. Mm. Uh, but is in the stomach, but in the stomach, while you're pregnant, and also is, hard. is also hard. And I don't know where we fall, but I take it that take it. Yeah, pressure, 
pressure <laughs> so high blood okay. pressures in pregnancy we did post a tiktok and uh, mm. we're talking about high blood pressures in pregnancy and many moms out there were sharing and were actually like sharing in a comment section about mm. how they lost their babies mm. uh some of them have survived mm. and uh we felt it was important to talk about it really mm. and uh, the other reason we're talking about it is because uh High blood pressures actually kill it's the second biggest killer of mothers did you know in Uganda did you know we don't know these things myself at high Na blood ye. pressure in pregnancy go jimani okay uh-huh. maybe for my my particular situation uh-huh. i didn't have it during okay mine came after nengo bakugamba anto ina chi bakugawa ina ah cut now uh-huh. at, at around four months there uh-huh. my legs are swelling you guys I had feet. I was a duck. <laughs> like ngagane ne we got. My feet were bigger. Like my feet were almost the size as my lower thigh. Like at they were four huge. At four months old. Mm. And of course everyone that saw my feet was, "Oh my god, you girl, go and they check you." Uh, apparently someone where I was working said, "A friend of mine, her feet got swollen like that." Mm-hmm. And she was actually rushed in hospital. If she hadn't, she was going to lose her baby. Because they found out she had high blood pressure, so I was like, "My Achille, God, it frightened me." Yeah, from the legs. yeah. So for you, what no, they, they guessed. You? They, they guessed, guessed, guessed that huh? your feet are swollen. Go to hospital. And when okay. she went to hospital, mm. they found out her pressure was high. Mm. So mm. when this same person saw my feet swollen like that, they're like, "Oh my God, you girl, it could be pressure." Like that almost everyone I met, almost everyone I met told so me when you go check the for doctors, pressure. What did they tell you? Did they tell you have high blood pressures in like? high blood pressure in pregnancy or what did they tell you surprisingly in none of the, the above <laughs> my pressure was checked on a weekly and everything without was fail okay. i did my uh, blood sugars i did all those things guys there was nothing wrong that's just how my body reacted to that particular pregnancy so just swelling of the feet just swelling of the feet that's important to share but now i wanted you to uh, speak to it mm-hmm. being a sign or a, t- a, a tell tell sign uh-huh. for high blood pressure have you had about preeclampsia yeah that word yeah so what you're getting? Mm, preeclampsia. Yeah. No money. No money. No money. So now, um most people will not understand but usually mm. we say when we say preeclampsia, what to get is high blood pressure. Oh. Eh, hey, pregnancy. Okay. Like okay. mm. at the end of the day, what we want a mother to take home is pressure eating. Eh, eh, eating. Eh, eating. Thank you very much. Now, when someone says eclampsia, mhm. Twice the upper pressure waiting ya no mm-hmm. suka i don't know how to say some people call it okwensi ah ah kwekwesi koko okweska and everything we want for every mother is we do not want you to kweska eh but now must have mentioned something very important she said e bigere byazimba ichitufikirinti some signs of high blood pressures olumo mutomanya mm pressure tell luma the same pressure that you get in pregnancy It's also like pressure for other people, eh? People who have been taking edagalia pressure. pressure. Mm. Yes. Tekuwa fever, tekuwa kukanka na tekuwa chi teluma. By the time you get any symptom from high blood pressures, it actually means something is very wrong. Okay. And the bad thing with it is, you know that it affects every other part of the body, every part. Now, sometimes if you have high blood pressures in pregnancy, the thing you'll notice is you're not able to see clearly. Oh blood vision. Yes, so you Tanko get a blood vision. Ah, hola tokula olufu ku maso. Olumu mna you think you have an eye problem, eh? Plan man or mkampala no duke misinde. Ni kwa galubindi. Ni kwa galubindi. Tell your psychologist. Don't blame them by the way. Don't blame them the eye doctors or the eye eh, technicians. Don't they blame them. They're simply going by the signs you're saying. Hey, they're, they're going by your signs. However, mm. one who is actually informed will tell you if you have any problem with your eyes visit your gynecologist like right away mm, especially when you're pregnant Exa- women especially when you're pregnant or have mm. given birth mm. so the brain because it's a very vital organ on your body what can happen is wesca kwesika comes from the brain comes from the brain oh eh well simutima Hey, better hurt to break. Education is the key to success. The key to success. So, chetuli kwano, chetuli kwano. So, kati yetu na kweska. Ibiso kabigam, umchala ba gamba. But I have this headache. Umte gunno mirira. No mira ka panado. Abachala ba fema gala panado. Bambi chamo mira panado pregnant mothers. Run. Go to the hospital. If you have a headache uh, like this, duka. Ewa obela ngamwa, mchana na kugamba. Niyo mche gunno mirira. Tomu nga awumula. Mm. Asuka gene mudwa yomke bele pressure yoka. Akome wa umure. Mbutuna ka nyu amazi manji eh. Yeah. Bambi munywe sa amazi yeah. yake yeah. take yeah. thank yeah. you. Yeah. But that is not it. Kombe pressure zedi mukola chizi mugena mbire. Exactly. Mm. So if a woman has headache, dwalido. 
Bambi ladies, eh? pregnant mothers. You know the most self-medicated people are pregnant mothers? Because they feel ah, I'm doing a little wala. Hey, What's wala. going on to kill you? I don't have any more. I'm going to have a panado with them. I'm going to have a panado with strip wenga munana. Until I said panado is safe during pregnancy. It is safe, <laughs> but go to the medical worker. And are you a doctor? Is also matter. So you need to know how much panado you actually also take. It hmm. can affect you as well. Okay. So, what you've got to do is you get to 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 get But so, why, why, why are you saying it with a smile? Because it's shocked. Because it's a heartbreak. <laughs> so you can get a heartbreak from the high blood pressures. Wow. Anyway, so you can get a heartbreak with the high blood pressures. And uh, why am I calling it a heartbreak? Because usually you get a attack or mm, a mm. you get like, in medical language, you call it a medical inf- uh, a myocardial infarction or people like calling it a heart attack. Mm. Sometimes you can get high blood pressures and then they throw a cloth somewhere and then they make it hard for your heart muscles mm. To, to get pump, oxygen. Uh, okay. So if you're, you know, when you're running mm. and then you get a cramp in your legs, uh, the same uh. thing happens to your heart. Oh, that uh-huh. cramp like that in your exactly. heart. Exactly. You guys. Exactly. So when you get that, then that's like, it's a sign. Sometimes you get like chest pain. It, yeah. What was it? Mm. Mm. It's just chest pain that is happening. Umchala, wobo inanga. Awudi that chest pain. Your blumi muchfuba. And usually what they describe it as is, awudi dange, chintechi mutuulida. Mm. You feel something very heavy across your chest. Oh, so that breathing uh-huh. becomes labored. Exactly. You breathing like have to omuko guskawala. Thank you very much. Now, the other thing about the heart is the heart pumps blood across your whole body. Yes. And during pregnancy, that those changes that happen, well, yes, we have swelling of legs. It tends mm. to happen, however, not for every mother. And there's okay. that swelling. Mm, mm. Now, the swelling of the legs and other parts comes in because it is hard for the body to take back the blood normally. So now what happens? That's why you see a pregnant mother what about today? And I tell you baby get a mango mango. So usually we may advise them about to baby get a take. We want it. Eh, we want it. Like it is just a little bit sanya that baby get. I don't know what to take after for me to. Wait, but you. Now, if you're over swelling, what mm. high blood pressure also does? It can it now it worsens that process. Okay. It makes the it makes the blood vessels become more leaky. Mm. More leaky that zi sa mazi. I know could detect chi. hands Mm. If you had a ring on the your fingers, fingers, they no longer fit. Exactly, the ring no, no longer, longer fit. fit. Guys, when you look at okay, you eh? Look at me see indi. But then also msa wanga to nagenda wale. Before we even get to the preeclampsia being that mm-hmm. the finger swelling being yes. a sign of that. Mm. Generally in pregnancy on bilingual zimba. On bilingual zimba that is correct. Yes. yes. Because I remember the that time when I was pregnant, mm-hmm. I I stopped wearing my ring. Because my fingers, za zimba mko kale, but not so much. Za zimba mko kale. Za zimba mko katono. Na inga, I could not wear it kubaya di nyiga. Yeah. And I've seen many of my friends also, they, when they are they pregnant, up, they, yeah. they put off their rings. It's okay, that is, that is, um, the swelling is God's way of saying you should have extra blood in your body. So that in ah. case you bleed a lot, Ah. Then it has a compensation. Eh, when we sweating, get your suka. Okay, no kula ba, gamba gamba. So as a pregnant mother, yes. Kasto buli danga kare yeso ogeze. But you're, Nenga, you're still so we got table lunch. You see the difference with you that you did your blood pressures every week. Mm. At wali wa mchala bele. Eh, me I did every week. Eh, I was worried. You think I wanted? <laughs> I said because I was in a spot of being healthy. This is what every, every, every yeah. woman should, if you can, actually we even tell women, also we have a lot of pressure. You can even bargain for it at 80,000. 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 This is normal. You can even bargain for it at 80,000. You can even bargain for it at 80,000. That is it. That's it. Eh. 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 Eh.
No, you're not going to name me. Connection. See, this is not talk Zimba. The next thing is your eyes. Now, the thing about your face oh. is that you can't realize whether you're swelling. You're not even talking face. Any endo ye kwa tagani la wa bananga tu geje ni endo my God. Pregnancy noses. Pregnancy noses. Hey. It's not a. It's not a sign of pressure. No. Not now. Okay. So there's something called a pregnancy nose, and also there's also something called a pregnancy mask. Where it's like a pregnancy, you take a stamp, and nah, I'm here. I'm here for you. Exactly. That one is different. And everyone who looks at you is like, yeah, she's yeah. Like <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, so mm-hmm. this time the swelling of the eyes, like, mm. um, usually it is worse in the morning. Okay. Okay. The thing about that swelling is that usually mm. you, you, you don't you, realize you know, your swelling. The difference. Yes. But the person who is going to notice is maybe your workman. Even your own husband may not notice. May not notice. So they are not the husband. Because mm. um, that's what I call it. So. But it can be a workmate. It can be a workman. 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 Don't wait to understand it yourself. Exactly. Mm. You go to the nearest. What's the nearest? They see if there's anything that is a concern. Bakujanja. Mm. 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 So you know when you when you come with to the podcast you get mm. a consultation. Eh, hey, fully. Uh, fully, fully. Fully. But sometimes when you swell mm. up, it there's concern. Ngai to gena ku mutima, to go passing ogo musayo go bagende one to one now. Sometimes bakebela ko ku mutima ne balaba. What is happening? Mm. So sometimes, it, that if it, if you swell up the next time and blood pressures are still okay, it's important to also have a checkup for your heart. I told you get the chain When 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 actually even if you're not pregnant, mm. but the moment they say we let's just have a look at your heart, mm-hmm. that alone gives you pressure. Very good. That alone so, may raise the pressure. But what's then? Are you? Just never gamble. Actually, the fear is eh, hey. ra- the moment a doctor says struggle to carry a kumutima. Uh huh. You think there is a problem? No, we want to assess. I hear we. I'm not a doctor. Sorry. They want to assess. We have been the last podcast when Mata comes here. She's called a co-doctor. Co-doctor Mata. So, when I tell about saying about your kujakwa antinente, because they think when I love Musa, the pressure is going to pull in your body. I'm going to cut you. Okay. Those things. The misconceptions. The misconceptions. Lugambo. Lugambo. Women, mothers, pregnant women. We did work here. We did work here. We did work here. And by the way, we, we also know it in medicine. There's something called the white coat hypertension, which is high coat, high blood pressure. Until you have to say that you have to say that you have to say that you have to say that. White coat of hypertension. Yeah. Uh-huh. Mm. So we know. That is why you see sometimes. That one is psychological. It is psychological. Sometimes about what I ingi, I'm pressure. Sometimes about what I'm going to do. I'm going to copy. You know, we're not going to talk about that. We're going to talk about the other side. That is why we say about the jazz. Exactly. But it's such a bad thing. Try a jazz. Yeah. Uh-huh. The jazz thing. How are the children? If I go out, I go. And then you're like, "Chita, no go out." Pay my debts. Yeah, so I'm going to be. The answer is a good answer. That's a very good job. No, the thing is, eh, you're thinking they're prying, yeah. but they're actually helping you to, to calm relax. down, yes, to relax. We know. And by the way, these days, you know what we also do? We mm. now also put a blood pressure machine. What, what is doctor? Mm. So I know what I'm reading about. What now? What Charlie anxious? So you look at your blood pressure. Now, eh, it's calling. After like ten minutes, you're going to can't get them up. We don't get them up. We don't get them up. I'm going to go back. And now they're going to book. I'm a dollar. I'm a dollar. I'm going to get a taxi. Yeah, to see. Mm. So it's okay. Mm. Now the other thing about what filters the blood, etc., is a very important ki- uh, part of the body called the kidney. 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 Speaking of kidneys, mm-hmm. do you know every time you go? Okay, not do you know, but kidney and say go, go be money. Mm. For for the mothers, mm-hmm. I realized this when I went for the scans. Yeah. When you go for the scans. They don't just check for the baby. Mm-hmm. They also look at the mother's kidneys. Yes. They have I paid attention the mother's... first time and I'm like, yeah, your kidneys are going to be like, you understand? So I was like, mm. I was curious, but mm-hmm. I didn't ask at that time. So the next time I went, mm-hmm. I asked and they're like, no, we also need to know that your kidneys are okay. Exactly. If they are functioning well, mm-hmm. then they won't affect. But the mothers ask questions. Smile, Jesus 
Okay, honestly, if you don't feel comfortable with a doctor during antenatal or with a midwife, and I don't think that's your antenatal midwife or doctor. Get another one. Get another one, like, very quickly. Because you need to be comfortable. You need to be comfortable because... Questions are not going to get to hey, And the other, the, the other easy thing to do is to do is to do the doctor don't feel comfortable when you do this. Mm. Sometimes they actually understand. It depends because they have to see, like, very many clients... Every Sometimes day. Sometimes Exactly. I, I, I get it because at times when you like see very many clients mm. and then all oh, is something because they're also hu- human. We're also human. Yeah. Sometimes you have like a really, really bad day. Though we are trying to like keep it at the back of our, of our mind, mm. sometimes it can project through. Mm. So tell your doctor, like, feel free. I tell you, whether it's paid, whether it is free consultation, please feel free with your doctor. It's only then that you're free that you're able to actually share more. Yes. I mean, like something has changed. You yes. know what you don't believe in those things. Mm. Now, back to the kidneys. I know you mentioned the scan part. Mm. Uh, scan. Mm. Mm. Uh, uh, I want to understand. Uh, 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 that's why we have susu. Uh-huh. So now, those kidneys, in when someone has high blood pressures, mm. remember how we say that the blood vessels leak? Mm. What happens is that now, our mm-hmm. kidneys, a kind of media storm, so mm. what's supposed to come out? Mm. They have some big components called proteins, okay? The reason why your body is able to look the way it's looking right now, mm. very beautiful, is because when I'm glowing. <laughs> you know, when you're glowing, it's Don't because those it. proteins are helping trapping that water and moving it around. Okay. So when now they come out and now you're peeing them, what happens? Your body has less. So even the swelling now just what? Worsens. So mm-hmm. those proteins coming out through the urine, yes. it's not entirely dehydration problem. No. So you it can get also protein also with dehydration. Yes, with dehydration. And yes. now the blood pressure now makes it worse. Actually, thank you for bringing it up. You're the welcome. blood pressure. I'm here for you too. <laughs> yes, Godok. I'm here for you too. Yes, Godok. Yeah. The, the blood pressure yeah, mm. makes you dehydrated without you knowing you're dehydrated. Mm. That's easy to say it. That is why I'm going to say that 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 I remember I told the, mm. the midwife during Intenento, she asked for my husband. I told her he works up country. And she told me, "Wakuma o, jiangu na yeye." Stuff. Nemovu, nemovu zai yeta sawa la gina neva mukevera na nisayalizati. Nanga hamba inzokulete ringadi. Jiangu na yeye. Neva mukevera. Don't trust my husband. Ne, 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 but I understood where yes. that came from. Yeah. Ne, ne, for ne, for ne, my safety, what ja? We tend to also share information with you that mm. they don't understand. Mm. So while well, a mother, by the way, is prepared for birth, fathers are never. Pre- so now when they check for your protein baba ino kukebya ndalango ina pressure erinya oba terinya so the protein sometimes they do bako gamba ah protein nazo zeyo ngeddeko at what always took a level kati wachi tegeza baza tanzo kwe yo ngeda wachi tegeza until your kidneys are starting to fail pressure kube nsigo paka weza niko kola chi okufailing walo mshala ya ayashe ya renze ku ona wa on the tiktok and then she said that I had very high blood pressures neneska na ye I even had to go for dialysis. Dialysis is where you can cause and see go. So yeah. when the kidneys are at that point of failing, yes. that's when they bring in the dialysis. Now it depends. But yes, it can reach a point where your own body... Exactly. That's why if you can't pee in one day, it's an emergency. It's an emergency. Before, before they even realize the the what the the protein that you took away the kidneys, we Today I have paid. I've paid. Yeah, chai. It is like coffee. Mm? Like my coffee today. For real. Yes, it looks like Coca Cola. The urine. Wow. Now let this. If you notice, your urine is changing. Yeah. Color. The color. That Na is why. Don't orange. just sit on the toilet. Sweet. Mm-hmm. Look at the urine. Look, look, look. If there is a change. Please, Miss Indy. 
even that yellow is not good. The yellow I think what encourage is pale yellow. Exactly, pale yellow. If it's actually coming yellow then dehydration. Ne wan ko kula msulo tanso fuka gwa chai, jo misin. They try to get that protein that get the cause you call a and your kidneys are starting to get affected. Okay. Bwa twagalo duke misin, twagalo nsigo zo kola chi. Kufa. Exactly. Mm. Now when you come by baja kukebeda ba kebeda test then single test is achi. Mm. That is why it's important. The other organ that is very nice that helps us also to clear up a few things is mm. called the liver. Yeah, the river. What facts do you know about the liver? Oh, there's one interesting one I got uh-huh. to know. Yes. That um it can regrow. That's true. That one? Yeah. You guys. I'm like <laughs> And then and then like you can I'm remove done. one lobe and still live. Like it's a very beautiful organ. So anyway, that liver can also be affected by high so blood pressures. Uh eh aba transplant ba dabyo gira konyo. Ah ah nda ah okay. Ah atveyo. Veyo. Demutunda asiko demutunda ko deliver us please. Demutunda. Ah tukama tukama ko be tugeno tugeno ko. Now the liver is very important. Ye ya ba koko mwidi. Now that liver pressure na yeko la chi e jukuba. Mcha na ko kugama nina ulcer. I'm yeah, talking about pressure, baga mina alsa. Thank you. I remember. Is the alsa. Why am I saying that? Yes. It's bumba. Eh, the liver mm-hmm. enlarges go in pressure. Chizimba. Chizimba. Uh-huh. Okay. At normally chidi eno ba either. Which means chidi eno. Just one once with baby one eno once. Dino lino. Dino. Eh, one once one. Eh, kuja wanga akula bulala ko yeyo ne yegende eno. Na yete na ko bere eno. Normally just it is there. Na ko pressure itani ko kugeja. Ne ja pack eno. You have pain here. Ah, yeah, ah. Okay, because when the liver stretches, it starts hurting. So when we touch it, you're like, mm. exactly. And you shouldn't enlarge. Ideally, when we touch you down here, it shouldn't be there. Now you have a pressure. Baba, 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 jinange zimbie. Baba, na niko kuzimbie. Na niko kuzimbie. Then side weight. Bambi wali waba chala baika no msai from the liver, okay? It can happen when it is worse. Because it stretches, that is high blood pressure for you, okay? Okay. It is, it is terrible. Now you understand why they say it's the second leading <laughs> cause, of, cause death of death amongst, amongst women, women in Uganda. Especially yes. pregnant women. And I think also women. worldwide as well. No, worldwide think as well. Worldwide. worldwide. Yeah. Worldwide. And um, it's very intense. interestingly, I have, I have some friends from Sweden. They actually shared that high blood pressure is the leading cause of death in their country. So whereas Uganda for us we have bleeding is number one and high blood pressure is number two. Mm. For Sweden for it is number one is high blood pressure. 